A U.S. health panel says it is time to resume use of Johnson & Johnson's COVID-19 vaccine despite a very rare risk of blood clots. AP Sagar Magani reports. The advisors acknowledge the risk is serious but small, noting about 15 cases out of nearly 8 million people who receive the vaccine. The benefit are far greater. Dr. Catherine Poling was among 10 advisors voting to recommend the CDC and the Johnson & Johnson pause. Dr. Sarah Long voted no, saying the panel should have also recommended warning about the risk and telling people other vaccines are available. I'm very sorry that we haven't chosen to put up front the knowledge that we have. European regulators have already allowed the J&J shot to be used again. Sagar Magani, Washington. India reported the world's highest daily total of coronavirus cases for the second day in a row on Friday as it struggles with a health system overwhelmed by patients and plagued by accidents. Reuters' Brian Wood has more. India on Friday posted the world's record daily caseload for a second straight day, with over 330,000 new cases. Deaths in the past 24 hours also jumped to over 2,200, the health ministry said. That's about one fatality every five minutes. Drone footage showed images of mass cremations, fires burning, and bodies being carried on wooden planks. As the virus surges, Indian health care providers appealed for emergency supplies of oxygen. Similar desperate calls from hospitals and ordinary people have been posted on social media for days this week across the country. That's Reuters' Brian Wood. U.S. President Joe Biden closed out his two-day climate summit on Friday, calling on nations to work together on a transition to clean energy. We get more from Reuters' Zachary Gelman. U.S. President Joe Biden called on nations to transition to clean energy in a bid to fight global warming while creating robust green economies. Commitment without us doing it, it's just a lot of hot air. No pun intended. He spoke at the closing session of a U.S.-hosted Global Climate Summit on Friday. The event featured dozens of world leaders. Biden repeatedly hammered the point that green technology and policy would unlock economic, business, and job growth to counter domestic political opposition from Republicans who claim greenhouse gas regulations could hurt industry. What else could there be that would have the opportunity to create so many jobs while doing so much good? The U.S. summit sets the stage for annual United Nations climate talks set for November in Scotland, where nearly 200 countries will update their pledges under the Paris Climate Pact. That's Reuters' Zachary Gelman. Japan has issued a third state of emergency for Tokyo and three western districts to curb a surge in the coronavirus just three months ahead of the Olympics. AP's Charles de Ledesma has details. Prime Minister Yoshihide Suga announced the emergency for Tokyo and three other cities from April 25 through to May 11. Japan's third emergency since the pandemic comes only a month after an earlier toothless emergency ended in the Tokyo area. This time, after a law stipulating virus measures was toughened in February, authorities can issue binding orders for businesses to shorten their hours or close. Suga says the step was intended to stop people from traveling over upcoming holidays. I'm Charles de la Desma. Jailed Russian opposition politician Alexei Navalny said Friday he would begin gradually ending a hunger strike. He had called to demand proper medical care. Reuters' Lauren Anthony reports. Navalny's announcement came on the 24th day of his hunger strike after a medical trade union that supports him and which has treated him in the past appealed to him to start eating again or risk death. The worsening health of President Vladimir Putin's biggest domestic opponent and the authorities' initial failure to give him the treatment he demanded has triggered a Western diplomatic offensive designed to cajole Moscow into making concessions. In an Instagram post arranged by his lawyers on Friday, Navalny said he was still demanding that he be seen by a doctor of his own choosing and that he was losing feeling in parts of his legs and arms. He said, however, that he had been seen twice by civilian doctors and undergone tests. That's Reuters' Lauren Anthony.
Hi, thank you for watching. I hope the videos are useful for you. Please subscribe to my channel using the button below.